It is one of the first decisions that a parent makes, whether to bank your baby's cord blood. Now, while doctors have used cord blood for decades to help with blood disorders and other diseases, a handful of new studies show those same cells can also help heal a baby's brain, impacting things like cerebral palsy and autism. As NBC7 Stephen Luke tells us, a local three-year-old is at the center of the excitement about this. In a room full of little dancers, blooming confidence and coordination, no one's thinking about making the Bolshoi Ballet. But for the parents of three-year-old Ava Johnson, it feels good to dream again. I will not put any limits on my daughter. Never. They can still hardly believe the same little girl who couldn't walk without help now prances across a dance floor. Ava, born with cerebral palsy after a brain bleed led to a stroke in her mother's womb, struggled from the start. I, I didn't know how to feel. My whole world was turned upside down because you're never prepared to get news like that. With every month, what should have been another milestone turned into another concern when it didn't happen. I feel as a father that I'm supposed to protect and, and, and I didn't know what to do. You know, and I was scared and I felt humbled and uh, I prayed. Luckily, Jeremy and Catherine followed the advice of Dr. Holly Cassell. I told her, you should bank your baby's cord blood. They banked with the largest private company in the world, Cord Blood Registry. And within hours of Ava's birth at Sharp Mary Birch Hospital, what used to be thrown out as medical waste was now heading to this Arizona lab for storage with a half million other samples. It's important to point out few children actually receive treatment from their own cells. A recent NBC Investigate story highlighted how just 100 families out of the 500,000 who used the company benefited from their own stem cells. But in Ava's situation with abnormalities detected before birth, Dr. Cassell believed it might really pay off, especially given the encouraging progress of a clinical trial out of Duke University involving toddlers with cerebral palsy. It'd be wrong of us not to do everything in, in our power to give her every chance possible. Having already accepted a maximum number of free patients, Duke said they could still take part, but they'd have to pay for the infusion, which wasn't covered by insurance. A leap of faith they took on April 14th of last year. And we didn't know if it's going to work. I mean, that was one of the scary things is what if we pay $12,000 to do this and it doesn't work? It didn't take long to realize it did work. Remember Ava at 18 months, still unable to walk? <laughs> Three weeks after the infusion, her parents say she took her first steps and didn't look back. The eye surgery she once needed is no longer on the table. The biggest improvement seen on the entire left side of her body. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Prior to the right first there. infusion, her left hand it's stayed right in a there. fist, all part of the injury to her brain. Today, she can feed herself. Mm. Many of the children that we're treating have similar medical stories and are like a Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg with the Duke study speaking to us via Skype says analysis continues, but early results show cord blood cells can travel to the brain to help repair damaged areas. Then we're trying to study in the laboratory how it's really working. Yeah, just to bear more weight on her, her feet. Normal development with age coupled with traditional therapy can't be overlooked as reasons for Ava's marked improvement, but her parents were convinced the infusion sparked the change and borrowed money for a second one. As the good news spreads here at home, in some cases with tears of joy. I mean, I had to stop what I was doing because I was so moved by uh, the outcome of this baby. Doctors will continue monitoring Ava's progress, hoping to better understand the benefits of cord blood. Her story, a testimony to the untapped science this family calls a miracle. Parents who don't want to pay to bank their child's cord blood privately can donate to a public registry. By the way, the researchers with this study say that right now they're looking at whether babies can see similar benefits from a donor's cord blood.